Hello ladies, it's CraftyKim62 on Facebook and this is another word of the day for crafty fairy godmothers and the word today is gutting. You may recall the other day that I did the word of the day for matting and layering and this is what we did. And I said that I would give another one using the matting and layering for a further word of the day. I've gone ahead because with matting and layering you don't have to just use card, it can be papers, pattern papers, whatever you wish behind. So to match with the green stamp in the corner, I've married it up with some green striped paper and I'm going to put that on top of the white, underneath the craft card, the black and then the the stamp. So gutting is where you take the centre of the mat out and then you can use it. So all I'm going to do is put some little pencil marks on the edge of the topper and then using a knife and a ruler I'm going to just cut out below the pencil marks. So not on the pencil marks, below. So that is your gut. It doesn't have to be neat and tidy. So we will just put this to one side <coughs> because your postcard is going to go in there and that is going to be your layer. So the next one that you want is your next layer. So bring your black one back or whatever colour you have chosen. Mark it up Pencil marks are easily rubbed out and again this one will be able to show you better where I'm doing it not on the pencil lines but all the way around <coughs> so that is the pencil mark there but I've gone further in so as not to have no space for adding this one. And again, I'm going to turn it over, but the pencil marks will rub out. So we're going further down. <coughs> so the next one's going to be the paper, so I'm just going to turn that one out. And for this one, with it being paper, I'm just going to draw the lines from the centre of the other gut and cut it out that way because it's paper and it's not as strong as the card to use the adhesive one. So that is your gut. So that is the next one. And with the... To keep this one secure, I'm not going to cut the the bottom one I'm just going to leave it like that so I'll just quickly go ahead and build this up I'm just using a tape firm pen for quickness line it up pop it down and go for the next colour Again, I've turned it over so you don't see the pencil marks. I'm just going around. Lining it up. So then you've got your three layers. 
and it stands out. So again, just going around, adding this one. And then your topper goes on top. But to give it a little bit more definition, oops, that's my gem section. I'm just going to put some foam pads. To give it a little bit more height. So I'm going to centralise that. And there you have your matting and layering complete, ready. <coughs> so we've got these three sections that we've saved that match the topper. And I like to use the Martha Stewart punch. And all you need to do is just punch out from the waist. Remember this would have been hidden behind your topper and if you've only got a small piece of your favourite paper that you're making a special card or whatever out of then it's a waste and you've saved it. So I'll just do a couple more. This punch is quite a strong one, so it just flies everywhere. And then that is now your waist. So just throw those away. So you've got three bases now, or however many layers that you have. So all I'm going to do is a little bit of the glossy accents and build them up. Do different coordinating patterns. Twist them so you get the different leaves. Build the layers up as to how many layers you want on top. Twist and turn them. And then what I like to do finally, and since these ones are the brown ones and green, I'm going to use some little gems in the centre to give them a little bit more So what I propose to do for this one is I've got a blank tag, it's not decorated or anything yet, but this is going to be off the tag topper and then the other ones that we have saved will go around the outside so everything matches. Thank you for listening. If you've got any questions, just let me know. Many thanks. Bye from Kim.